evict the museum, um, and the museum was forced to remove all items uh, from inside because. Basically, our goal is to get the Pearson Air Museum back to the community and make sure that um, Jamie Herrera, Bill, Herrera Butler's bill um, passes in Congress and uh, the city can take control of the museum, give it back to the people and the land, get it back to the people, and the community can run this for the next 100 years, 200 years, forever, and um, make sure that we get the continued learning experience and uh, great community events that we get down here and it's important that we preserve it. Um, the people have the right to take it back. All right, well, so basically the uh, National Park Service uh, does own the land and uh, there was a dispute about events not sanctioned by the Park Service and they tried to put strict uh, strict rules on the museum. The museum said no. Um, so they attempted to evict the museum um, and the museum was forced to remove all items uh, from inside because uh, the Park Service actually has some archives for the airport um, that they will not hand over. So it was important to protect um, all the exhibits inside uh, that belong to the community. Um, a lot of those exhibits are actually borrowed donations, which means they still belong to the owners. Um, but they are here um, and it is the trust's responsibility to take care of them so that's why they were removed um, basically uh, they thought that the uh, trust would just up and and leave and uh, leave everything and you know when you move out of your house uh, you don't leave all your furniture so I think that's important for people to remember uh, when they're thinking about all this uh, and, and even though they had the legal right to take the building it doesn't mean it is right um, I think it's uh, a travesty, and I think it needs to be back to the community. Is, um, within the next two weeks, we plan to get a community forum uh, and invite every representative we could possibly at uh, local, state, national. Uh, we're going to contact everyone. They, all they can do is say no. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to invite the MPS out, and uh, we're going to have this community forum where people can speak their mind and talk to the people directly if they show up. So you're trying to get the land turned over back to the city? Absolutely. Um, we'd like to do that, um, and it would be great to see, see that done. It should be returned to the city and to the people. I'm here because of this is such an appalling thing. Um, it's such a community asset. It's and it's in the last several years it's turned into a real gem, something that's a community pride. And what the Park Service has done here is basically taken a facility that was self-supporting. It was economically and managerially self-supporting that was drawing probably more people than the fort itself does. And basically killed it, absolutely killed it. I, EAA, I have members that have flown their aircraft, flying kids here for free. We've spent thousands and thousands of, of dollars in fuel and airplane costs flying kids out of this museum every summer. And we have people coming from everywhere, Hillsboro, uh, Chehalis, uh, down here to fly kids at this airport. It, it's such a big draw. But now, uh, they basically just said to the community, we don't care what you want. What they're telling the people in this area, the community, the people that they're supposedly serving, you don't matter. We don't care. We don't have to. Well, sorry, yes, you're going to have to. Uh, you can't tell the customer no. This uh, The National Park Service has been underfunded understaffed uh, so now we have a facility that's actually in the black it's successful it's bringing people in it's a, a, a focus of, of attention in the community and you killed it like this it's appalling it's more Travesty of the worst kind. I just can't imagine uh, that we're going to lose this wonderful community treasure in the Pearson Air Museum. 
Um, students have been coming here, uh, learning about aviation, getting inspired into careers in aviation for years and years. Um, I, just last summer, I attended uh, probably about a dozen events at the Pearson Air Museum, and all of those events are always wonderful, benevolent fundraisers that benefit um, great entities in our community. And the fact that this boils down to really a personality conflict between two individuals, um, I think that is um, really unfortunate. And, and uh, what I would like to see is parties come together and uh, make sure that we do the right thing, get the Pearson Air Museum back to where it was before as a wonderful uh, part of our community. And what I plan to do when I go to Olympia on Monday is to try to get um, at least a visitation or at least a phone conference with our governor to plead with him to contact Senators Maria Cantwell and Patty Murray to try to get some resolution uh, through the governor to, with them. And I know that uh, our Congresswoman Jamie Herr Butler is working very hard on two measures in the, in the U.S. House. I'm confident that she'll get some traction there, but I think where the uh, blockade might be is the U.S. Senate, so that's why we need uh, our Governor Inslee to put pressure on Patty Murray and uh, Maria Cantwell. And so that's what I'll be doing. Thank you very much.